Unikey is uh, the evolution of the key. So we really wanted to take the key, uh, which is something people have used for 1,100 years, and bring it to the modern world uh, of what we know. And everything's migrating into the phone, so why not your key? All right, Phil, show me how this works. Yeah, absolutely. So we have the Kivo app on the phone, and you'll see that I have several locks enrolled here. Uh, this is my demo lock. Uh, I'm the only user on it, one active key. And what's nice, I can throw that in the background, turn the phone off, and put it in my pocket, and simply just walk up and touch the door to gain access. So it only takes a matter of a second or two, and as long as the phone's on me, I can just simply touch it uh, to gain access. So it's that simple. And you, this is interesting. So you, have, you went on Shark Tank with this idea. I did, is, yeah. And, and you actually found investors outside of that. Can you very briefly explain how that uh, uh, situation worked? Well, look, we're, I mean, I started the company in the beginning of 2010. It wasn't a great time. Uh, you know, we're, we're in a, a bit of a recession, to say the least. Uh, we're, we're from the southeast. We're in Florida, so we're not in a great fundraising environment. So I kind of had to make the choice to go out and expose our company to raise some capital. Uh, and it was, it was a really good thing that we went on national television because we got that exposure. But also, uh, it's kind of a bad thing because we showed the competition what we were working on and certainly a lot of people saw that and said wow okay that's how you do it. We're a supposedly sophisticated venture capital firm and one of my LPs called me up and said I've got this great company you gotta look at and he said I saw this on Shark Tank. I said Shark Tank you gotta be kidding me and he said no this is a great company I thought it's an LP I'll listen and so I had it on TiVo and I looked and you know what it actually was one of the best companies I've seen on Shark Tank. And so I picked up the phone and tried to reach Phil through his layers of voicemail and Google Voice and protective to keep the public away. Eventually I got through and he goes like, you know, who's this guy? And I explained and I uh, walked through everything with him. And it turned out that uh, for various reasons, the Shark Tank team, which was, I believe, led by Mark Cuban, um, didn't move forward, and Phil was in the middle of an angel round, and that's the round we like to uh, invest in. And so we sort of followed up, we did our due diligence, um, uh, Phil and the team came through clean, and we ended up investing. And in fact, uh, we've invested a couple of times since. We really like where the product's going and what it's doing. I think the whole keyless entry thing is very cool, but you have additional features I think are really fascinating about the virtual keys. And experience. Yeah, absolutely. So by moving the, the key into your phone, there's many great things we can do, uh, particularly key management. So you can send keys uh, to and from other people. Uh, you can give them administrator rights so they can distribute keys. You can send them anytime keys, one-time keys, and limited time keys. So if you have a maid that's coming over from three to four on Wednesday, it only works at that specific time. And you're starting with kind of deadbolt doors for homes. Where do you see the company going um, in the future? Absolutely. Next year or two? Yeah, we have a we have a nice roadmap to go into uh, a hotel, automotive, um, education. Uh, we want to take every key you possibly have and move it into your phone and, and get rid of that. Um, so you don't have to carry around that big bulky keychain every morning. Access is, is just as simple as touching a door.